have you ever wondered why? Like, why do some things happen? Why do you go through some things that you don't really understand? Why do you have to fight through the aggressive nature of life? Like, why? Why? I have been through many scenarios and sometimes I used to wonder like, why? What is happening? Is this how life works? Well, for me personally, I had to go through a long period of learning and unlearning things and I had to go through a period of really, really taking time to listen to the voice of God. Sometimes God just wants to guide you but you just don't see it. You can't see clearly with your own eyes until you see God. Then you can see through the eyes of God. And then the power of wisdom and understanding comes in you and then some things will start making sense. Yeah, so that is what we are going to talk about today. My name is Riz Panabate, for those who don't know me, and welcome to today's video. So please uh, subscribe, like, and share, because it means a lot. It helps my channel to grow. Yeah, so the last uh, uh, video that I shot, um, I like this uh, Friday Friday video, not the cleaning video, the Friday video, the one that I usually uh, share, spiritual um, message, I mentioned that I was going to talk about the blessings that we receive after we receive, we receive, we, we receive Christ as our personal Savior. If you just choose to follow the will of God and trust in God, then there are blessings that come upon you and sometimes we think the blessings that we that that, that we receive are this uh, you know like growth uh, in your economic status in your living standards maybe uh, financial financial growth sometimes you think um, having maybe getting a husband you know these good things that happen in life having children yes these are the physical blessings that we receive i believe but there is a power that works behind you and that is the most that is the most important blessing we receive from god so if you receive god in your life you receive the power of the Holy Spirit. That is, to me, that is the one most very important blessing that we receive in life. And I believe so. And the reason why I say that is, if you read through the Bible, what I'll do, because today I don't want to keep reading the Bible. I feel like not so many people are watching. I just need to, like explain to you and then maybe highlight the verses that will guide you in the description box so make sure if make sure if you want to learn more make sure to check the description box i'll share more on that so i'll share the verses that you can read and understand so one of the blessings that we receive from god is the power of the holy spirit um you guys I have seen many scenarios. I have seen things happen to people that I can relate to, but I have realized people do not know like the reason behind it. If you are here, then you must be someone who like is a fan of uh, YouTube videos. Have you ever seen people being attacked? Like seriously, someone just comes from nowhere and attacks the fellow human being sometimes i read through the comments and i'm like like seriously i am shocked you just come from wherever you have come from you go to someone who is working they are doing they're living their own version of life living their best way the best way possible they can live and then you go down there to the comments and you start talking 
things. You abuse them, you put them down, you speak against them, yet there's no one forcing you to watch them. Okay, that aside, me personally, I have been in, in places, especially workplaces, and some of the friends that I had, and I have seen like my people turn against me. Some things I cannot even prove. Some fights I cannot even fight by myself. And so I did not know what to do. I used to put up a, a wall. And so what I did was to always walk away and never talk and act like you don't exist. Like that is the best way I could fight. I just never bothered to explain myself, never bothered to go ahead of myself and fight someone. Yes, of course, there are some cases where there has been a very small backlash, very small. But the intensity of the attacks were so bad that they costed me a lot. And people just didn't care. And I had to know there are people who, I just, I, I don't know. It is bad. Have you been, <laughs> okay, that is a different case. There are other scenarios where you get a, someone says something about you that you don't even, <laughs> you, can, you cannot associate with it. Someone accuses you of something and you're like, do I know this, does this person even know me? Because they say something that really is not true at all. And they believe within the, themselves. I have come to realize that we have been created differently and people have different ways of looking at things. And sometimes we react through our weaknesses, our strengths. And it can come off very badly, especially if you use some things negatively so as i look at such things and as i see people being hurt and things words being thrown off out negatively things that affect people's lives things that affect um even people's personality. I've been, I've seen people losing things, people changing, people being affected so badly, just because of careless thoughts and careless words from people. Now, how do I relate this to what I'm trying to say about the blessing of the Holy Spirit? The blessed, best blessing after receiving God in your life is the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit helps to pray. He actually prays on your behalf because you do not know how to pray as you should according to the will of God. So the Holy Spirit helps you to pray. The Holy Spirit instills in you the character of Christ through the fruits of the Spirit. Love, peace, kindness, humility, all these things. He instills in you these this, um, characters so that you are well aware of how to act and what to do, where to go, what to say at the right time, in the right way, according to the will of God. The Holy Spirit is your guide. The Holy Spirit is, he is our, uh, he, he, he is our comforter. He is our, our, the best friend we, that we need is the one who helps us to follow the right path. And so the blessing of the Holy Spirit basically helps us to navigate through different scenarios of life. One other thing that is very important is the power of the Holy Spirit. The power of the Holy Spirit is 
Oh my God, the power of the Holy Spirit is overwhelming. It is through the power of the Holy Spirit that Jesus brought people back to life. Someone is truly dead and they come back to life. It is through the power of the Holy Spirit. God created the earth through the power of the Holy Spirit. If you read Genesis, chapter 1 and 2, as God was creating the earth, he says the Spirit, the Holy Spirit was hovering around. And as God speaks and things became, there was a power behind the things becoming to reality when he created the plants of the earth, the, when he created water, animals. There was a power behind every word that he spoke, and it is the power of the Holy Spirit. Even Jesus Christ, as he was speaking life, as he was speaking healing, the power of the Holy Spirit was behind it, was behind it, was behind the move to cause healing, to bring back life. So the power of the Holy Spirit is strong. And for you to live through life, you need the power of the Holy Spirit. For you to live a normal life full of power. For you to navigate through life. Believe it or not, these things that happen to you, when you see people attacking you, when you see people talking evil, when you see people, when you lose things, when you go through things in life that you do not understand, this attack is from the devil. Once you proclaim Christ as your savior, you have a permanent enemy, Satan. And so he will find a way to destabilize you the best way possible. And in some cases, it's not necessarily that you have given your life to Christ. There are people who are generally, because of the way they were brought up, because of the life they have chosen to live, they have kind hearts naturally. They have just pure, they have just pure spirits. They always want to do good. They want the best for everyone. This character is not, it does not, um, it does not um, sit well with the devil. And so what the devil does is he attacks it. Because the devil does not associate with anything that bring, brings positivity. How does the devil attack? He, the devil attacks through other people's weaknesses. Look, for example, in the case of Jesus Christ when the very person that he had chosen as a disciple turned against him. He is the one who sold him to, to the Pharisees. He is the one who gave Jesus Christ to the Pharisees. Well, it was supposed to happen. It was bound to happen. But imagine the very person you have been teaching and keeping close to you and revealing your secrets to him. It's the same person who goes and fights you. So what happens is, in our weaknesses, the devil uses that to attack others. So this goes to people who are very quick to attack, people who are very quick to spread negativity to hurt people. If you find us yourself talking negatively about someone or something, please beware. The spirit within you is not the spirit of the Holy Spirit. It's, it, it is not the Holy Spirit working in you. It is the spirit of the devil. And if you are wise, be very quick to pray. And pray that the Holy Spirit will instill you in you the character of Christ so that you do according to the will of God. So, in simple terms, what I'm trying to explain is the power of the Holy Spirit is the blessing that we receive. Even Jesus Christ, after he was baptized, 
there was a dove that came from above and lay on him. It was the Holy Spirit. The disciples, when Jesus Christ went back to heaven, they were told by Jesus Christ to wait, to sit, to be in a, to be, to stay indoors and pray and wait for the power of the Holy Spirit to fall upon them. Until then, after it happens, when the power of the Spirit falls on them, then they can go out and, and spread the gospel. So we all need the power of the Holy Spirit within us to guide us, to help us to fight. The power of the Holy Spirit is the power that gives, gives us understanding of the word of God. There is a verse in the Bible, in 2 Corinthians, that says we do not fight against flesh. We fight, fight against we fight against powers. And only the power of God can bring down these strongholds. I will also make sure to share that verse. And how do we know, know how to pray? How do we use the power of God? How do we use by the help of the Holy Spirit to pray against these attacks from spiritual powers, evil powers? Because we do not fight against flesh. Believe you me, that person who comes and attacks, that person who attacks you badly, that person really is a human being like you. It is only that in their weakness they have been used to attack. And it is by the help of the Holy Spirit that we can be helped to navigate through these things, to navigate through life. It is by the power of the Holy Spirit that we that we receive the blessings of life. Have you seen people who are who are highly favored? People who walk in abundance? People who when they start and when they stand in front of people and speak, they command the presence. It is through the power of the Holy Spirit. When it is your right time, the power of the Holy Spirit works in you to bring out these things that, that people call blessings. But the true blessing is the power of the Holy Spirit. So as we go through life, we really need to understand the blessings that have been given to us, especially after we receive Jesus Christ, when we choose to live in Christ. I'm not saying if you're not if you're not baptized, if you have not given your life to Christ, you cannot live this life. God loves us all and he loves us so dearly. But I just pray that we all know the power of the Holy Spirit is a blessing that is so powerful that we need in our lives to navigate in life according to the will of God. The power of the Holy Spirit is the spirit that gives us discernment. You are able to discern good and evil. The power of the Holy Spirit gives us wisdom. You are able to know how to deal with different, different situations wisely. The power of the Holy Spirit gives us strength. In the difficult times, those times when you feel like you have lost something, when you have lost someone, when you feel attacked, when you feel low, when you feel like you have lost something that is valuable, it is through the power of the Holy Spirit that you find strength to move on. So one of the blessings that we receive is the blessing of the Holy Spirit. What I can say is this. There is nothing as lovely as walking in Christ and knowing the will of God by the help of the Holy Spirit and reading the Bible. It changes your life <laughs> in a big way. We all need to be in Christ. It's not a must. 
but it's the most exciting thing that can ever happen to you. And so that is what I wanted to share today and I hope you have learned something. I will make sure to share the verses. I hope I will remember every verse <laughs> and share it. And I hope you accept Jesus Christ in your life because through Jesus Christ, the power of the Holy Spirit begins to work in you and you begin to walk in in a, in a, in a different realm of life. You work in, a, in the supernatural. You don't work, work in this physical life, you work in the supernatural through the help of the Holy Spirit. So embrace that. And you receive things that you, <laughs> you never thought possible. The fruits of the Holy Spirit are the most, the most beautiful things you can ever have in life. They even introduce you to the gift of the Holy Spirit. It is the Holy Spirit who reveals in us our gifts, the things we can do that we never thought we, we, do, we would do. We are able to do. It is the, through the help of the Holy Spirit that you are able to know your gift. And you are able to discern so that you know where to be, where not to be, who to be around and who to avoid. <laughs> not in a bad way because we are taught to love one another. But for your own good, it is always good to be at the right time, at the right place. Anyway, that is it for today. I came this side because of the lighting. Don't mind the background. I just hope you listen to everything and make sure to subscribe. Keep watching my videos. Keep subscribing. Keep sharing my videos. And I will really appreciate. I love you. I love you so much with the love of Christ. And I hope together we will help each other grow. Bye for now.